Let's welcome in the man who scored nine goals, finished with 10 points here tonight, tying a school record that he had already tied once before in his career. He's the first guy ever in Stevenson history to have two nine-goal games. This is true. So that is Yeah, right? He I is have one question. Yeah. Why did you score 10? <laughs> that's a, that's a diff, I, don't, I don't think that record's breakable, to be honest with you. I've tried it too many times. So let's talk. So we were joking in the third quarter. We said, does everybody know, like, does everybody on the field, is everybody aware that you're sitting tied for the school record? And, like, are, are you you're saying, hey, guys, come on, let's go figure out a way. Give me the ball, man. Not really. We try to just stick to the game plan. I mean, we do talk about it, how I have – X number of points, and if I get one more, then we break the record. But if it's not there, then I'm not going to force something that's not there. So we just try to stick to the game plan. If I'm open, then I get the goal and I get the record, whatever. But uh, no, I mean, not really. Uh, it's what we were just talking about with Coach Testament, right? Like, that's, that's, yeah. that's your job. Your job is not to go, you know, force crazy things in pursuit of a record. It's to keep playing lacrosse. Correct, yeah. yeah. Well, true team player. Yeah, exactly right. We talked about that throughout the broadcast, actually, JT, tonight. So. But you did a great job of finishing tonight. What made you so open so many times? Um, the one for one that we were in really got me in, in spaces when I was curling up, cutting through the middle. Um, the defenders kept losing me. So, I mean, I got to give it up to Ethan and all my teammates for, for finding me inside and having their eyes up and... I mean, they, fed you they made it. They made it yeah. easy for me. So yeah, that's nice. GT, we were talking with Coach. Um, got off to a little bit of a slow start. Not just you, but the team as a whole. Obviously, playing some of the best teams in the country. How much does it help to have a week like this? Two games to maybe get your focus back a little bit more as you have to face another one of the best teams in the country on Wednesday night. How much better do you guys now feel going into that game than maybe where you were coming out of say the Tufts game and everything this team had been through? Obviously, also with you know everybody getting the flu. Yeah. Um, honestly, this does help a lot. Um, this really builds our confidence because playing all those hard games, it's not easy to score goals. And, and I think we're stuck at nine goals a game and we needed to get to, what, 13 to <laughs> – usually if we get 13, we win the game. So um, this definitely helps and it gets our confidence up, which I think we'll, we'll roll over into Christopher Newport. And I think we'll – it should be give, a fun we'll run. give them a good yeah. a good run good for their deal. money. All right. Well, we have to address something because we let family members check in during games oh, on Twitter, <laughs> and we've heard from a lot of the Thielens. <laughs> sure your cousin Mark, the most. We hear a lot from your cousin Mark, but we heard a we heard a story tonight that maybe you were already practicing your lacrosse at a young age because you didn't always maybe keep the food, the baby food on the spoon when your sister was giving it to you. You were maybe sometimes throwing it back at her. Can you confirm or deny such reports? I cannot confirm or deny <laughs> what happened with the baby spoon. <laughs> I'm, if it was, it was good practice. Obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick, your, your, <laughs> your stick skills have improved over oh, yeah. the years. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, JT, Congratulations on a great, great Thank night, you. and best of luck moving forward. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, Absolutely. See you He's JT Thielen after a nine-goal, ten-point effort here tonight and even letting his sister have some fun and tell some stories <laughs> during the broadcast.